Welcome to the example. My name is Davin. In this video, me and my friend Micah visit the historic campus of Tuskegee University. Here we gain insight on our next generation's understanding of objective and subjective morality. So what is objective versus subjective morality? Well, objective morality lies outside of the individual and isn't dependent upon his or her perception or belief. Subjective morality is dependent on his or her perception. For example, in subjective morality, there is no good or evil except what you think is good or evil. So I hope you gain some insight from this video. Uh, unneeded violence, like as well as like stabbing and killing mm -hmm. and fighting for no reason, makes no sense. Like you have other things to do rather than fighting somebody. Uh, stealing, there's no point to steal if you don't have it. Like try to work yourself towards it. If not ask other people to help. You. Uh, basically, that's really it. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna say it one more time. Are there any more truths that everyone ought to? Uh, yeah, basically, you know, same thing he said, no stealing. If you don't have it, you can work towards it. No lying, really. There's no need to lie or kill to be real with you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. So, next question would be Is there anything morally wrong that you think everyone should live by? So, is there, you know, what what are some of your things, your truths that you think pe other people should live by? Hey, I don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, most of the stuff I live by, most of the people go by. I'm not really a uh, a high in rule person. I'm more of like a freelance person. Mm -hmm. So, like, as long as you know what you're doing and the consequences of doing it, it's up to you to make the decision. Okay. All right. Now, what do you think about that? Um, I say stay true to yourself because when you get away from who you are, then you start acting like whoever you hang out with and you try to act like somebody you're not. And that's when you get to you know, you start lying and you start cheating and stealing and stuff like that. Okay. Alright, we got locked up. Locked up already. Hey, uh, question. <laughs> so, what if I'm true to myself and I feel like punching you in the face? Is that alright? <laughs> It's not all right, but like, as long as you know the consequences, like he might as well punch you in the face back, or he might have a knife or a gun to shoot you or stab you. As long as you know the consequences, it's your fault what happens after that. Very true, but the question is um, about whether it's morally true or not. Yeah, of course the person can do it, and he needs to know the consequences, but would that make it morally true just because he feels that he should do it? Morally true? No, but then again, it's not. He's not me, and I'm not him. So, morals are just the same. Yeah, okay. Okay. Same, same type of question. What he just said. Uh, basically, yeah, the same thing. If my morals not might not be his morals, so okay. our ideas might be different, or okay. how we see things might be different. You know, our mindsets might be not be on the same track or whatever. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Next. Okay. How do you determine what is right or wrong in your life? Like, how do you determine what's right and wrong? The way I determine if it's right or wrong is mostly if I told my mom what happened, how would she say? Like, you're basically her face is racist. So if I told her, like, oh, I stole a car, and she's like, what? Like, I would know if it was wrong. But if I told her, like, oh, I uh, helped this person fix her car, and she's like, what? Like, more of a honestly, I'll about my mom. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that. No wrong answer. Right. How would I determine what's right or wrong? It's so many choice. Um, basically, really, like what's right or wrong is like it depends on what you're talking about. Like, if I make somebody feel bad, I feel like I, I probably it's not really right or wrong. I might just tell them the harsh truth or whatever. Yeah. But like, if I was saying like a crime, if I'm gonna go to jail, that's wrong. Yeah. Then it's obviously wrong. So anything it depends on what you're saying like whatever you're saying like what could be right or wrong okay so would you say the law determines what is right or wrong not all the time not all the sometimes time. the law doesn't okay see doesn't give okay. justice right okay so the law is not always not okay. Okay. okay so you got two more man and we'll get out your head man we appreciate your time all right
All right, so, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna go to the to the Bible for a little bit. All right, so we got so God uh, for Christians. God is the moral standard, and uh, the Bible is the example that that Christians follow. Um, for example, they got the Ten Commandments that they live by, and other other rules and stuff like that. Do you think you know? Let's say Christians, people who are Christians. Do you think that the Ten Commandments is a good moral standard for people to follow? The Ten Commandments. Um, yeah. As me being a Christian, I do believe they are a good moral standard to live by, but also they are a good guideline to stand by. Um, by saying that, like, what it says, like, don't uh, honor your mother and your father. Mm -hmm. But if your mother and, and your or your father like has done something towards you to where it makes no sense and it doesn't show that they are a mother or father to you, mm -hmm. then that part doesn't really make any sense for you to honor them if no, they're not honoring yourself. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, what about you? Um, yeah, I totally agree that um, Ten Commandments are guidelines to, you know, okay. morals and stuff like that because they show you what's right and wrong. They basically tell you what's right and wrong. Don't kill. Yeah. You know, nobody, nobody wants to be murdered or don't steal because nobody wants to be stolen from. Because you could be stolen from too, and you know, and you probably don't know how that feels yet until yeah. it happens. So, yeah, okay, appreciate that, appreciate that. And um, let me see, we got one last one. All right, so of course, you know, Christians follow you know the Bible and stuff. So, uh, has there been any cases where you know uh, Christians have not lived up that their moral standards, and ha has it affected you? Has it affected me? Mm -hmm. No, but there also are Christians who are show Christians, and by that I mean like they just go to church and do all the churchy stuff. But then mm -hmm. when they go back home, they back on the corner selling drugs, shooting people, killing people, yeah. and all the other stuff, and it just makes no sense for it. So. Okay. Um, no, it hasn't affected me, but I have seen instances where you know people go to uh, they go to church one day, they say they're Christians, but they're still in the next moment or even I've yeah. seen where like they're Christians but they're killing people and stuff like that so yeah you can't always just you know go off by that okay alright hey well that's it man that's all the questions you had man appreciate y'all so much man.